place open and dim. Fire the camel house was the sign. It always was a usual place for travelers there to dine. A traveler he a call one day, a generous been his youth, to spend his Christmas holiday and pick his Christmas goose. Sure, he drank his bottle so merrily, he smoked his mild cigar, while chatting to the customers, while drinking o'er the bar. But never a thought of wickedness had entered in his head, until the chambermaid appeared to light him to his bed. Then he grew kind heedless, he hugged her on the stairs, he kissed her at the chamber door before he said his prayers. He gave to her five dollars to prevent her from being vexed, and out went the candle, and you know what happened next. Early next morning, this traveler, he arose, put on his coat and tipped his hat, all for a parting do. But what he did or where he went was more than she could tell, till he returned next Christmas to pick his goose as well. Sure, he drank, he walked into the dining room as generous as can be, and ordered off the very best the camel house could produce, while other travelers like himself was waiting there for tea, and calling back the waitress saying, now don't forget the goose. The tray brought forth in abundant store, the cover it was removed, instead of a goose she brought to him a fine fat baby child. Outraged, others laughed, mercy what this cried he, now set yourself down and calm yourself and you will plainly see. Now why do you act so heedless and why do you act so strange? You gave to me five dollars and I brought you back your change.